Here we go. Did, uh, did this one look as good on film as it did live? It did. It looked pretty good. I mean, especially for you know four guys, first time being on the floor. Um, I thought it was unbelievable. I thought the effort and energy intensity was really good. I thought offensively, you know, out of timeouts, we ran some really good stuff for them. And it fit those guys and they executed to perfection. So, um, you know, today we went over plays again. But like I said, it's going to take some time. But yesterday was a good start. Do you think LeBron played faster? Um, not really. No, I didn't think he played faster. I thought um, he just surveyed the floor. I thought he made the right plays. Um, got downhill when he had to, made the right passes and plays. But um, I wasn't, definitely wasn't the fastest we've seen him play. When did you come to the decision this season that I'm going to stick with J.R. Smith? The whole season? I mean, you know, JR's done a lot for us. And you know, if it wasn't for JR and, like you said, in 16, making those, you know, eight straight points come out in the third quarter, we don't win a championship. So for people to say, you know, quit on JR, give up on JR, it's not right. And like I said, he gives us the effort and energy every night. You know, sometimes shots don't come and go, it's just part of the game. But for the most part, you know, his effort's there, you know, every night. So that's why I wanted to stick with JR. And, you know, I don't want to lose JR. You know, I want to make sure we keep him in good spirits, keep him, in, you know, going in the right direction. And he's, he's big for us. Like you said, when he's making shots and he's being aggressive, uh, my team's a whole different team. What's it like for you to survey the locker room and just see JR, Kevin, Tristan, and LeBron from the championship team? You said how what? What's it like for you to, to oh, take a look I mean, at the locker room? And yeah, I mean, it feels good guys. to know that we got, you know, four starters back from that team. And, um, you know, but... You know, Jr. he's been good for us, you know, just, just the effort and intensity every single night. Like I said, he passed up a lot of shots early on this season, but now he's taking them. And when he's making shots, we're a totally different team. Do you, think that he, do you think that he had gotten to a place where he felt like he didn't have a, a spot in your offense? You didn't have a spot? Yeah. Um, I mean, over the years, we never, like, really, you know, featured him. But he got all of his shots out of transition. LeBron and Kyrie attacking, kicking out. So, or well, they double teaming Kevin. We make the swing, swing, swing. So, I mean, it's like like we ran a lot of stuff for Jr. You know, he got his shots throughout the course of the offense, and us playing in transition, playing fast. Is, you guys, the last couple of days have been talking about you know, no, no big three anymore. Got it'll be done by committee. Who do you think ends up? taking the big shots at the end of the game though that's a little bit different than a big three well i wouldn't say he's gonna take the shots i just think it would be in lebron's hands and he got he he'll make the right play so okay. mm -hmm. you know the right guys will be on the floor with him and um either he's gonna have shot or he's gonna make the right play for somebody to take the shot one more thing about jr when he di dunks oh. in the front, what did you what was your reaction to that well he's a two-foot jumper and when he went <laughs> off one foot and dunked it i think that really set the tone for us early. I think by him driving and, and dunking, I really, you seen the bench go crazy and you know, everyone was up cheering, excited. So that um, really set the tone for us early. Did you know he could? I see yeah, I know you don't see it very often, but he's, he's athletic. You know, he's always been athletic. Do you want, are you going to stick with the lineup that you had yesterday? Yes. So sticking with Jetty. I know I asked you a little bit about this yesterday, but you know, on Friday it was Jetty's going to play one game as a starter and then go back to the bench, but he's been so good. Is this is this open-ended? Yeah, I mean, I like, I like what he brings. I think um, having Bron before is a um, give teams, well, he's a disadvantage anyway, but just it's a big disadvantage having him before. And now you got four guys who can push it out on the break. I think that's big. I think um, having Hood come off the bench and being a scoring power, being a scoring threat, we can run things through him, I think it's big also. So um, I like where we're at right now, and then uh, we'll just kind of go from there and see, what, see how it lays out. How would you think of Jetty's uh, footwork when he didn't have to guard Kyrie? How what? His footwork when he did have to guard Kyrie. I thought it was good. I mean, you know, Kyrie, you know, had a good move at the top of the key at one time, but, you know, he's fearless, man. He's just going to play hard. He's going to compete. And um, he has a lot of tough matchups, but he's, you know, he's given the effort and the maximum intensity. So that's all you can ask for. And you know, you're not going to stop guys in this league. It's just, you know, it's not going to happen. But if you make it tough on them, make them work, that's all you can ask. He didn't seem to let that screwed up dunk affect him. Oh, I know, I know. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. How much? You know, you're gonna play the Thunder. Last time you played him, it was a bad day. How much do you think that was attributed to the spirit that you were talking about yesterday, and how much of it was just a bad? It, it was a bad matchup with the guys yeah. that you had. Yeah, it was. I mean, they came in and they took it to us, and uh, you know. I haven't watched the game yet. I watched it again tonight. You know, it's a bad game to watch, but I thought they really they came in like looking to prove a point. You know, looking to attack us and looking to you know 
you know, prove a point, set, set a tone early. So, you know, we got to be ready to come out and play from the start and then just, you know, go from there. Is there a lesson that we learned for both of you, both of you guys and the Thunders that it's a really long NBA season and a team can look far different in one month than, a, than later on? In the oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, we have a lot of different guys and, you know, same thing happened in Minnesota. We went there and they, they killed us and we came back home and we had a good game. And, Along with Boston, the last game we played them. So I mean, it's a long season, um, you know, ups and downs throughout the course of a season. But you know, right now we just, you know, we made a trade, you know, kind of rejuvenate us, and so now we just got to keep building.